Hello everyone. Welcome to another evening of sculpture. I am working on Kodo the Dragon, uh, the Dragonborn, excuse me, from uh, the Everstorm series uh, by TTTKB. That's a 5e D&D game that uh, TTTKB is, is playing every other Saturday. And this is uh, Kodo. And you see up in the corner, uh, there's a little uh, image of Kodo, the drawing that was done by Levi, uh, one of the uh, GMs over at uh, GTTKB. Yeah, I think he did a fairly remarkable job. Kodo is kind of a giant of a sort. Um, he has a, a big maul which I haven't started on yet. And I haven't finished his armor on this side, and that's what I'm working on tonight. So welcome. <laughs> Hope your day was good. You having a great Tuesday. Mic is too quiet. Um, no, it's not muted. It's right there. Let's turn it up. Hello, testing one, two, three. How's that on the mic? Give me, uh, give me some feedback. It may be up too high. That's what it is. Yeah. All right. How's that? How's that? Bringing it down a bit. Oh, well, it's the same uh, the same settings we had the other day. I don't know what the deal is, but let's turn down the music sound effects right there. Yeah, and we'll see if that works. That's a lot better. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Rain survives. Still learning. So I have all my patterns, and I'm going to uh, be doing some work on this arm. But the thing that I want to do next is uh, this piece right here, which is basically just a, a long diamond shape. And I don't know where my pattern went for that. Lost in a sea of patterns. We'll use this one. That'll get us close. So hopefully you uh, see we have the goal up for followers, and we're going to be giving away uh, Rinse Wins Jewelry Box once we get to 100 uh, followers. So if you can help us out with that, that's great. Oh, and I was going to tell you about the Mubot, that's what I, that we installed. So if you put it... Um, we can try this, hopefully. Rain survives, anyone out there. Um, if you put an exclamation mark, then the number eight, and then ball, and then ask a question, um, it should come back with some kind of a silly nonsense question, uh, answer. Um, it's the eight ball. Uh, but it, it does other things. There's like uh, timers and, uh, that's uh, give the. Uh, it's just like a chat bot, but uh, we'll see how it works. Hopefully, I have it installed correctly. Because we got some problems with this mower guy back there. Right here. 
Oh, a moot, moot uh, bot says, uh, Magic 8 Ball says, Yesterday I would have been a yes, but today it's a yep. Yeah, we have this mower going, um, unfortunately. Mowing the grass. I thought it was done already. Uh, I don't know, but he couldn't have come at a more inconvenient time. So did so. Rain did. Uh, Rain survives. Did uh, the question and then the eight ball answered. So it is working. That's cool. I, uh, I think if you type exclamation. Hi, air laser. Hi, air laser. I think if you type uh, exclamation and then website, it should re return my website. Move on. Magic 8 Ball says, most likely. The Bomber. Ooh. Rain survived this website. Oh, he gave the command. And it worked! Yay! Try it, Cat. You can try it yourself. You can type in. Um, Exclamation and then website, and then it's the word website. Yeah, this exclamation mark first. Oh, put your cursor in the cursor box. Yeah, there you go. Oh, where's my tool? My, my favorite tool bot. It's gone. Oh, it's right there. I lost it for a moment. Koda looks so cool, by the way. Thank you very much. He's coming along quite nicely. I ran across another fellow came, uh, um, sculptor today that's on Twitch. He's been on a lot longer than I have, a whole year. Uh, but, uh, man, he is doing great stuff. Um, now I'm trying to think of his, <laughs> his call. Let's see. It's Z not Bush. It's so it's C N O T B U S C H. So it's really I mean man, if you guys have you want to check him out, he, he's really cool. Oh I did the exclamation website, pop your head, your face in there and put your website on there. Ooh. Poison Ivy Pika. Hey, Pan Dad and Pan Mom. Hey, hey. Oh, pull the, um, pull that box up into the center, maybe. What? Well, so people can see it better. Can't they see it there? <laughs> hey, Pan Dad. Okay. Great. Okay, so if you want to click. What'd you do? You, hang on. You got rid of something. I got rid of what was. I couldn't move that up. All right. So she's. Pico says hi. Hi. A lot of people in there that are going to see. Oh, I can't get they this. They can see it. Yeah, but I'm trying to fix the boo-boo that happened. Okay, well, it's going to stay down there. Levi Tan 4 says, it's a raid, low tech. Aha, oh, hey. Animal G says old fashioned raid. 
pica, pues no hay un pica, pues no, no, no. Diva says that Levi, Levi Tone says uh, that's some great armor. Dragon Master Painter. Hi, Pika. Hi, Levi, I was just wondering, um, I know I'm off quite a bit from your from your drawing, uh, but uh, I'm hoping that you you you're okay with, with what I've done. So we got Dragon Master Painter. We got Poison Ivy Pika. We got uh, uh, everybody's going. Oh, oh, looking good. Thank you. By the way, I did move the time on Sunday to 4 o'clock Eastern. Uh, that's 3 o'clock Central. So next Sunday, uh, be sure and mark your calendars because it's going to start an hour later. Oh, the other thing about Mubot. Mubot does, uh, it does polls, but I have to set it up. I haven't done that yet. So, but anyway, the polls work. Ooh, I haven't set it up, but I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm going to do you. it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Hey, I'm an old man. What can you say? I, I put teas in them. I have to spend all day learning <laughs> new things. <laughs> I gotta breathe today. Oh yeah. Hey, I think the mower quit. Oh, and what's different, too, is that we probably have that fan on out there. It's probably generating quite a bit of noise. Dragon Master Painter. I'm currently working on a miniature for a competition. Oh, cool. Oh, you know, the Pika says Kodo is looking nice. Thank you. Hmm, we need 40 more to get to our goal of 100 so we can see who's going to win this little guy here. Might have to have a photo, a photo talking contest again to get that uh, bidding going again. That was fun. <laughs> I'm almost to the point of uh, the scary point where you know I have to start cutting my part. <laughs> oh, I cast uh, I cast Rumblesteam today. He's in the um, he's in the pressure cooker right now. Rumblesteam the owl. So if you were following me on my Facebook adventures, uh, he is currently cooking. And should be out tomorrow morning. I'm filming it all so that when we come on Thursday nights uh, to the Facebook cast, uh, then uh, you'll be able to see what I've done. Levi Tan says, I love that owl. He's perfect. I'll wait till you see what. I can't wait to see how he comes out. <laughs> I just hope he was as perfect. Going in as coming out. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if he's out there laughing. I, um, these little guys here are going to present a special challenge when it comes to casting. What little guys are we talking about? All these little bumps and doodads here. Let's see. No, i got to bring that back. It goes right there. Right. 
remember, our viewers don't know your Davidology. Yes. Don't know my Davidology. Yeah. He says things in his brain that he thinks he's already said out loud, but we have to decipher what the heck you're talking about. Oh. I thought that was Pandadology. Oh, excuse me, yes. <laughs> Pawn pat Patolin. Is that the closed caption says? Philly City closed caption. Valley Philly City. What the heck is this saying? <laughs> I don't know. It's having a hard time picking you up over that. Uh, Oh, it's having a hard time picking me up, maybe. Let me shut off the fan. Yeah, maybe. Sh uh, it's going to be really hot in here, but... What do you want me to do? I guess we need to yeah. shut off the fan. <laughs> oh, the little one? Uh, pretty much the big fan and that other one. Steep. All right, sound check. Can you all hear us now? Hopefully, that improved it somewhat. Yes. We'll do sacrifices for you. Turned off our, our fans, our central air conditioning went out, so we had to put fans on. So it's like a, a, ton, a wind tunnel sound in here. So we turned them off just so you can hear us. Anyway, I was going to tell you that the fellow sculptor that I found on the, that was uh, on Twitch today, um, he had a camera that he had uh, around his neck, and the camera was mounted right here, uh, so that every time he turned and worked on something, you weren't seeing necessarily his hands, but you were seeing what his view was. I think Wouldn't that, that be nice? What do you guys think? Would you rather see the thing he's sculpting with his big hand? Well, it would mean investing in another camera, but... Sacrifices have to be made. I vote for the big hand. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh ha. -huh. Am I still Levi easy? Tan says it would scare me to to make Kodo. I'd have to make him massive just to get the details. This looks excellent. And he voted for big hand, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you cowards. Well, I, um, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, huh? <laughs> I saw something. This is the moment I was going to speak. I saw something on him, and I went, oh, well, yeah, i got to fix that. <laughs> Well, it's more like I have the squirrel on my mind all the time, and I the the part that does the speaking only uh, gets a 
few neurons. <laughs> <laughs> Always putting out tiny fires. Sculpture, everyone. Yeah, the thing is, you can uh, you can be going along, and then you think I've got everything with this kind of clay. Anyway, you think I've got everything nailed down, and then you uh, forget and grab a hold of something, and then or bump it, and then all of it work goes away. What are you using there? A little roller. Okay. Little, it's like a, I forget what they call this material. It's like a nylon. It wasn't originally meant for this, but uh, it it's works. It's roller. Uh, not these little bands around the wrist, um, but we'll get there. Let's see. Got to get that one. Where was it that I was doing? Oh, the, I'm doing these right here. And then really, really delicate is that band right there. Hmm. Guess I should have put that one in first. Ta-da! Uh, yeah. Me forgot something. I forgot that. I forgot all about that. Levi says I have my ceramic kids make their own to use on future projects. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah, I put a link to uh, all the tools that I normally use in in this stuff. If you look down in the web uh, in the uh, website there, uh, Amazon Shop Deals. It says Shop Deals for Gamers, but uh, if you look through there, there is a list of uh, things that I normally use, including. Including this thing, you know, the extruder, Play-Doh extruder. So uh, if you uh, use that link, you help me. So I, you know, if you want to buy some of this stuff, that's that's where you get it at. See you later, Animal G. Catch you on the flip side. Yeah, because I need to send it through one more time. And it wasn't doing a very good job of cleaning. Not exactly sure why. It used to, but not now. Maybe you ought, you ought to get the spare one out. Ooh, a lot of stuff on it. Yeah. And it keeps doing that kind of thing where it buckles up on it. I cleaned it. <laughs> yeah, you cleaned it all right. And I think I broke it. Get too meticulous and see what happens. Still working. All right, that's going to work. Just need to get myself some straight straps right. Let's see, where, uh, let me move over here. I, I rotate around and I should be, I should be in the view by now. I 
gives me a straight edge. All right, so I just need a little bit of a piece to go around his Where does that start at? And then we just give it a little bit of a cut here. See, that's going to be, yeah, about right there. Oh, the mower started up again. Alright. I'm gonna come down and then come back up to a point. No wait, I've got it backwards, don't I? Dang got it. Like that, yes. I mean, technically, I was supposed to put the glove like in there, but I'm kind of faking it. Faking it, huh? How do you fake it? Well, just putting this design on there. Oh. They want to know which is your largest audience, Facebook or here? I. Hmm. There have been times where Facebook has been uh, pretty good, but not not great. Well, you only did it once on Facebook, did you? Uh, we've been there three times. Why? No, I just want to give it a fair shot at it to compare. It's easier for some people, uh, but they don't have schedules on Facebook, so... You know, and they're not used to actually getting entertainment on Facebook or entertainment, singing and dancing. Well, uh, twerking. <laughs> yeah, twerking. <sighs> yeah, Proto twerked himself to death last week. Yeah, see. Uh, like this sure my mom wouldn't know how to get switch yeah that's that's the thing boomers <laughs> oh yeah I'm one of those <laughs> I guess that's a derogatory name now, though, isn't it? I, I probably shouldn't have said that. What? That's, that's part of the problem of older people. Hmm. We do things that... <laughs> that is... You guys said, eh, who cares? <laughs> you can't even get the thought out. Just let uh, it go. Yep. Let it go. <laughs> Better put your little pattern back than before you... Mm. Back in the little paper thing. On the other side of Kodo. Oh, wait. This is the part that I wanted. Always got to keep them straight. Okay, so... Hmm, how does that work? If it comes in points up like that. 
but it's basically a strap around there. A piece of metal. So I will do it. Keep lurking here, laser. She's still lurking. Lurk, 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 lurk. I needed some art cheering up. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see if this is going to be doing what I think it's going to do can't remember how I did the other one that's what the problem is I think I could thin that clay out a little bit too much in there You cannot believe how many times I redo stuff. Well, I guess you can, because you've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just listen to you talk, you can see why. <laughs> There's lots of like little fobbles and things I change my mind on, and I mean, Rumblesteam the owl, I had to behead him twice. Before I got it, you know, before I thought, okay, that's, that's cool, that's rocking that. I can do some of those, some of that texture. All right, so that was going to go around like this, and then I need another one just like it. And I could still thin it out a little bit. Now I'm just going to squish it. What you use now? The roller. I have to sharpen it back up a little bit, but. And then I think I'll take out just a little bit more of his wrist so it's not quite so thick. I don't like that. Oh, Mobot has put up our Patreon address, patreon.com. You can try and go in there and see what goodies you can get. I'm starting to work on um, a little dragon for the Dragon of the Month Club. Each month I'll, I ship out a dragon to the Patreons who opt for that level. It's uh, $30 a month. Includes shipping in the United uh, continental United States. Mubot's supposed to be able to to uh, recognize songs and all kinds of stuff and put make a playlist. I've just began to look look at what it can do. What's that got to do for our program? I don't know. <laughs> but. <laughs> We aren't singing, so we can recognize songs. Well. So, so there. Yeah, so there. Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, that's going to work. Let me put some texture on this before I put it around his wrist. The little ball tool, well, you know. We're wiggling it around. See it. Hammer, 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 hammer. Just like a blacksmith. Not too hard because you can do it too hard and then it gets, you know, some of the dents get bigger than than others and it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look right at all. You can really mess it up. Beautiful now. Okay, all right, coming up on it. You know, what's really going to be fun is to be able to paint this guy. Oh, that's going to be fun. But first you have to make a casting. That may not be so much fun. But I'll get her done. Don't worry. Okay, my stream value is still low for me. So I'll go up here. And... All right. I don't know what we're doing okay, differently. What, I'm doing a sound check on my voice. Maybe I can bring yeah, it down. Yeah, the mic is, is quiet. Hmm. Can you... Uh, let me just set... Let me see something. I'm going to just double check to make sure we're using the right mic. I think there was a problem. For some crazy reason. Oh, wait. I don't want the head. Yeah. No, the headphone out. But okay. No, nope, I'm wrong. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. How's that, people? Can you hear me now? Louder. How big? I mean, is it comfortable? <laughs> no, no worries. Jeff has problems constantly. Can you tap on the mic to make sure it's using the correct one? You hear that? Yep. Oh boy. Sounds like he's weed, weed, uh, weed chopping right in my room here. This is hell boy. Sounds like it's dropping right into my room. Thank you, Poison Ivy. It sounds good now. Well, good. <laughs> Levi says, Jeff, get in there and help them. Be a good son. Poison Ivy Pika says, and thank you, Jeff. Ah. Can you guys hear the weed eater out there? Sounds extremely loud to me. Welcome to the front of the window. Levi says, Jeff Pancake, Dragon Tech Support. Pika. Ah, Jeff is a good son. Rain survives. Yeah, we absolutely hear the weed eater. 
Well, hopefully there aren't more weeds down there. He's almost done. Sorry. See, who says you didn't get some variety today? You got a riding lawnmower and a weed eater. Ta-da! Did I get my... Can you not see my haircut? Yes, I got my haircut. As I walked into the door, Jeff, David tried not to say nothing, but his eyeballs screamed it all, and Jeff was trying to... Mm. So finally he says, Mom, you look like you're in the military. Can you not see that? I mean, they scalped me. Well, you can uh, go to the... Go to the next camera down. I don't want to get it any bigger. It's fine. She can see it. Okay. Pika. Poison Ivy says, Looks good, Pan Mom. <laughs> Two socks, five. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> well, I've never had it this short. It's like... Feels like little antlers. That's like the little baby hair. And when I go to lay down, it just my head falls off the pillow. It's just weird feeling. Oh, Levi, don't take that grief. You're the queen. Thank you. <laughs> Crazy, I, I was making supper, so I just got, I'm getting here. Welcome. Hey. We are closing in. We're almost, almost done. Oh, it's the saying is I think it's going to be a lot of fun to paint this guy. Levi, lots of armor painting work. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll ought to be really nice to to do it. Okay. The texture will make it fun. Uh oh. What? Just go backwards. No, no, okay. I'm wrong. I just remembered something that wasn't worth remembering. <laughs> it's been all day. Is that right? Yeah, okay. This is so freaking cool. Oh, well, thank you very much. Well, at least the... Crazy uh, Ike. Did I mention how cool this is? Crazy Ike. Uh, this is uh, Crazy Ike's character, Kodo. <laughs> so, I'm happy to please Crazy Ike. And then if I can please Levi... Then, uh, then the universe is golden. <laughs> Nobody said this was going to be fast. Although I am pretty fast, as far as, you know, I think I'm pretty, pretty Poison quick. Poison Ivy Pika says, so the character of my Dragonborn is inspired by Koto. Oh, Koto cool. uh, is awesome, so thank you. Well, yeah, thank you very much. Crazy Egg says, that's awesome, Pika. I'm taking credit for Levi's work. <laughs> no! Dragonborn truck! Mm. 
<laughs> yes, we'll do that. We will do that right there. That's what we will do. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. I think cut right there. Poison Ivy Pika. I can't wait until Levi works on my Dragonborn. I've been so super excited. Oh, cool. Oh man, I don't think I got this. Let's see what let's see what this does. Yeah, okay. All right. Thought I got it too small, but it's not. It's about right. Let's see if I can get that shaped up a little bit there. And I'll just hammer it out on there. That's what I'll do. Mm. Yes, satisfying. Okay, so does that look all right? I'm not completely. Well, don't spin it so fast so we can look at it. All right, so. Is that the right angle? What am I looking at? The hand, the, all this armor that I just put on. Bring it over towards me a little bit. There we go. That looks good. What's it? What do you guys think? That look good? I think it's time to work on this upper arm. Looks really cool, so it's crazy, Ike. Oh boy, I'm I like that a lot, he says. Oh, that cool. Now, the challenge. The challenge is to get that other upper arm like the first upper arm, right? Don't let that. It might have helped to label these. <laughs> you think? Well, what, what's the fun in that? We like to see you struggle. Oh. You're doing a good job. Is this it? No. Did I lose it? What's that paper on the... I might have lost it. Let's just see here. I believe I'm going to have to do something else here. What's this paper over there by your little cutter? Over here. That's, uh, that's a little diamond. It's not the one I'm looking for. It's not the paper pattern I'm looking for. It's not the joy I'm looking for. Move along. Move along now. I will cut another one. That's what I will do. Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't even save the first one. It <laughs> <laughs> could be a possibility there. Air laser says it looks so good. Exclamation point, exclamation point. Let's see, I think I want to come back down on that other side. Let's go out that far and then we'll come back down. Maybe, maybe. Oh, oh booby. Let's see here. Let's start on this side and we will Cut up through here. Ooh, air laser 1000. Oh, thank you, air Ooh. laser. That was awesome of you. Oh, that deserves a torque. Wow. Ooh. Oh, 
he can do better than that. Air Laser said, Happy Pride Month! Yeah, no kidding. There, uh, there was always a big um, uh, parade. Uh, every year I would, I would go to, um, oh, thank you, David, uh, the Origins Game Pair in Columbus, Ohio. And, of course, this year it's canceled, but they had some magnificent parades there. Air laser sent you four dragon. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. So. And that'll come around. I don't know what I'm... I don't, maybe this, maybe I didn't even make a pattern. I don't know. I don't remember doing well, this. obviously, you got a good one. So what were you, what were you getting at with the story? With what story? Oh, Origins Game Fair? I, I really <laughs> missed it. Every year, that's where I celebrated my birthday. And, um, I mean, Origins Game Fair has had some spectacular events as well. They had... I mean, I just like the camaraderie of the artist there. Um, my friend Ed Pe uh, Ed Beard um, was he handled you know he was like the art director there for for many 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 years for Origins Game Fair and I don't know have any of you been to Origins Game Fair? They had a fire pit over by the um, Crown Plaza, and there would always be a group of artists sitting around, just chilling and talking and and drinking a little bit. And a little bit. Uh, well, drinking. <laughs> thank goodness they had chairs to sit at, so they could just bobble there if you're drinking. But that was where I always spent my for the last. 12 or 15 years, that's where I've spent my birthday at. Yeah. Yes. You'd see some spectacular things rolling by the pit. There was one year where they had a nude uh, bicycle. Um, Is that a tandem bike or was it just a nude guy just riding a bike? Oh no, there was probably a, a good three or four hundred people riding Nude? Nude, yeah. Woo! Through downtown Columbus, Ohio. Ho, 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 ho. Sight to be seen. <laughs> yeah, well, that was, it was entertaining. Definitely unusual. Because it's not every day that you, you know, sit around and watch. 300 cyclists naked. <laughs> okay, see, so, yeah, I think I need to trim off just a little bit more. And then there was always that one crazy guy that was on the, the corner with his signs of the end of the world. And, crazy. and a very loud voice. Very loud. Well... I am cutting and cutting and cutting, and I'm not sure what I'm doing. As I said before, this is not a tutorial. This is a wow. <laughs> that's that's what that ha what, what happened? I, I'm not sure. Let's watch that again. <sighs> Why did he do it that way for? Huh. I have no idea. I don't think he does either. <laughs> that would be correct. Ah, come on. Oh, I'm sorry, Kudo. Didn't mean to poke your nose. Poke your nose. Rain's probably Rain survives is probably cringing right now. And it's like, oh my god, Dad, just shut up. Well, not much is coming out, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. 
Do my thing. Do your thing. He is. He's battling. All right. Well, let's see. I talked about everything. I see. I can talk about my childhood. Oh boy! Look out! Ears, ears. If I, if, if the number of things happened to my kids that happened to me, we wouldn't have kids. <laughs> oh, it's just the thing is is. Uh, I, I, I'm a really remarkable that I'm even here. That it is. Two boys out in the strip mines. Holy moly. Need I say more? You know, it wasn't like today, you know. And today, uh, mom's worry. <laughs> I, I think my mom worried, but she, it, it, she didn't really actually know what was happening? Thank goodness you kill her. She got more worried the older she got. But we used to, I mean, we would climb. We, my dad um, was a strip miner, coal, southern Indiana. And we lived very close to the coal company. In fact, we could just walk out our back door and walk for about a mile, and the strip pits would start there. So, that was our playground. <laughs> and we just, uh, you know, they weren't even concerned about uh, security or anything back then. They had explosives in these big silos, you know, and it would all spill out on the ground and big keeping lot fools. We tried to light that stuff on fire, but it didn't quite work. You have to have like a blaster cap. We found a blaster cap one time, but we only got the blaster cap to go off. Not, not the rest of it. We, uh, we found an oil well, that an oil well spigot, where the oil well the pump was ceasing to work, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, there was a spigot, you know, it was just like comes up out of the ground and it's kind of muddy around there. It's a kind of dark oil, smells a lot. And we said, I dare you to go over there and turn the spigot on. So we went over and we like... Uh, Cranked it and then ran back real quick, you know, and like, huh, nothing's happening. I hear something, but nothing's happening. Let's go up there and see what's going on. So I go up and uh, look over the top of the spigot, right down into it, like, you know, like, ah, where, what's in there? And just about that time, uh, there was enough pressure in that well that it just goes blah, 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 all over our faces, our clothes. So crazy uh, boys. That was him and his brother. Two boys. Oh, yay, yay. We, um, found an old garden hose and the garden hose was part of a junk pile but it was right on the edge of uh, right on the edge of the cliff base for the strip mine okay now n there is no doubt that we weren't extremely bright here but um, we decided to use the the garden hose to repel down the cliff face. Oh man. I was first in more ways than one. Um, and about halfway down, a good 50 feet above the ground, the garden hose broke and I went flying and I hit the hit the ground, uh, hit the slope it was a slope and a cliff face coming like like that, 
and uh, my ankle went and twisted and I broke it pretty severely. But we, my brother and I would always, I mean, we, we would constantly, you know, try to fool each other that we'd been hurt or, you know, that something was wrong or that we were in trouble. We'd, so, you know, we'd, we would uh, be doing these great spoofs all the time. And um, I yelled up at him, like, I broke my leg. And you have to go get help. And he just said, no, you didn't. And then uh, what followed was about a 15-minute argument until he saw the blood. And then he decided, okay, okay, all right, fine, I'm going to go. Uh, then I, when I was down at the bottom of this pit, I thought, oh my gosh, if my dad finds out that I'm back here, or if somebody else finds out that I'm back here, he'll probably lose his job. Or he will, at, at the very least, um, find a use for his belt. And uh, so I, I convinced myself that what I had to do was climb back out of the cliff. And so I found a little crevice, a, a, a chimney-like thing, and which I could brace using three limbs that did work. <laughs> And I dragged myself back up to uh, to the surface. And just about the time I broke the top of the surface, uh, that's when my mom pulled up with a car. Still had to get me a good, I don't know, quarter of a mile to the car. But um, that was fun. Yeah, your mom wasn't a spring chicken when all that happened. No. We built a tree house. Oh, boy. No, I'm just going to tell you all my stories. I, I, oh, boy. Stop me now if you don't want to hear them. Uh, yeah, do your thing. Okay. Um, we built a tree house. And I decided I wanted to put a back porch onto the tree house. And so what I did was I um, took a two before and I put it down to the ground and it was almost tall enough to reach where I wanted to put the, tr uh, the porch, you know, the back porch on the treehouse. But I let go of it for just a millisecond and started to swing out while I was kind of reaching for a hammer. And the, it fell, so I grabbed for it, and I fell out of the treehouse. And now right below the treehouse was a snow fence. Now, if you've seen the snow fence, there are a picket, a uh, piece of wood uh, shaped into a, a sharp point um, and interlaced with wire. And I fell, I tumbled, and I landed on the pointy end of the picket um, with my thigh and so the picket went thukum, right up into my thigh <laughs> and then I knew I was in trouble so <laughs> always in trouble I wow. picked myself up off I mean it went all the way to the femur uh, but it tore a lot it tore a gash about that long and uh, I tumbled to the ground after I picked myself off of the fence and ran to the house. And I didn't really think it was that serious at, uh, for some reason. I, I just knew I needed to get to the house. And when I got to the house, well, that's when I found out how bad it was. So I was really fortunate that there was a Vietnam vet doctor that had just come back from his tour of duty and he was so used to handling trauma and I mean really bad trauma but he did uh, and this is a little country town there was no real hospital and so he did uh, all the surgery in his 
office uh, for two for two and a half hours trying to get the wound clean because there was a lot of splinters and rusted pieces of wire and all kinds of good stuff in it. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, you're lucky you didn't lose your leg. Yeah, I was very lucky. I think if I'd had another... If it had been another doctor or if I'd had to travel f for the 40 miles to the hospital, I might have. I just might have. I'm very lucky. My kids didn't do any of these things. I was like, oh, thank you. We didn't have coal mines in our backyard. Thank uh, goodness. Oh, well, they probably would have tried, I guess. Nah, that's not right. No. Okay, I have to do some trimming here. So what am I going to trim here? Yeah, okay. Make it wider there. And yeah, maybe a little bit further up. Did I gross everybody out? <laughs> they all left. There's They're all gone. It's, it's like, oh no. Crickets. Crickets. It's no longer art. It's some kind of weird <laughs> story time. The lurkers are gone. Uh, people are eating. I think you need to just trickle the, the stories out because that was a lot of trauma. I got plenty more. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty more where that came from. They don't need to hear that your whole life story in ten minutes. <laughs> hmm. I can't. I don't want to fill in that much. Well, see, I knew it was going to take me quite a bit of time to get this stupid piece on here. So, that was my interim. Interim? In, uh, in, uh, the uh, part in between uh, for story hour. Oh, geez. <laughs> Air laser's gonna go and make dinner now, but I'm leaving the stream open for a, for a few for you guys. Okay. Thanks for the stream. Ooh, and she also left five hundred. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Zippity doo dah. She gets a Thank torque. Thank you. Give her a torque. Torque. All right, here we go. And one, two, three. Oh, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> hey, good dog. Oh. Thank you very much. Yeah. I hope it's going to be something good you're going to make. Something tasty. Is it good? Who are you going to call? Air laser. Aiden and Manson. I don't know what that is all about. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. There's going to be a little cut here. Just a little bit. Ow. Although my mom had a hard time understanding that art could be a living, um, she did do a lot of things for me. I got to paint 
my bedroom completely the way I wanted to do it with uh, Star Trek on one wall a big mountain cat coming down out of a tree on another wall Snoopy on another wall and Captain America so that was my room and then I made a um, secret hideaway um, closet. closet so that the closet looked like a bookshelf and wasn't my bookshelf actually I think I could slim that down a little bit so not many would have been no, not many moms would have been doing that. I tried to do the same thing for my kids. And at the time when Jeff was a teen, <laughs> now, Careful, I, now I get to tell Mel on Jeff. When Jeff was a teen, he uh, he painted his walls, but he did all red smears, and then he wrote, "Jeff was here." <laughs> my daughter she put every square inch was covered in her room we painted another uh, uh, space scene mural me and her together on one wall Loaded loader on the other wall. Gee, mini Christmas. She had uh, little fe decorative feathers, buttons, all kind. I go mercy. It's yeah. My, and then it's it's my room. I can do what I want to. Yeah, but when yeah, but when move, <laughs> when it came time to sell the place. Oh, huh. mercy is a lot of picking off those walls. Those feathers just didn't want to come off. But creating memories. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, it's their little world, their little space. And uh, just gotta give it to them. They're not hurting anything. No. Okay, that, that's on. Yeah, I don't know. That was particularly, I don't know. Painful. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like it took me a long time just to get that one piece on. Because I couldn't decide how I wanted it. And that's why these sculptures cost so much. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you one thing. I, I'm so happy to be able to, just to, to do this kind of thing where my own, my own um, edification and pleasure. Don't have to answer to anybody, really. Not under a time deadline or anything like that. Could be. Well, I guess it could be, but I'm just having fun. Just having fun. That's going to be covered <laughs> up. Rains of ah, holy cow. I come back to my seat and see Air Laser donated a ton of bits. Yeah. Awesome! <laughs> Might want to go away again, maybe yeah. we'll get some more. <laughs> Air Laser is cooking supper now. Which, you know, I, I keep getting, I keep uh, making times when everybody's doing something. Well, we've got so many time differences here. There's always going to be somebody cooking or doing something. Oh, I suppose so. Oh, let's just make another piece there. 
I don't know. I, I, I think that I... Hmm. Another pizza. Another pizza. 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 Welcome to trying to schedule anything with a group larger than three. <laughs> well. I did mention that I'm starting an hour later next Sunday, right? At 4 o'clock Eastern. So 3 Central. And I don't know what it is for the rest of the world. But it's later. <laughs> it's an hour later what you're used to. How about that? What piece is that? That's this piece right here. We had questions earlier on. They want to know. How many pieces are you going to think this is going to take to, that we have to cut them apart in? <laughs> Don't know yet. <laughs> well, there's there's this piece that's going to have to come off of his hand here. I think the two arms will have to come off. And I think if I can cut right through here on his waist... I can cast the legs as one unit. If not, I'll have to chop the legs in two. So, there you go. Oh, so, like one, two, three, four, five, uh, maybe six pieces. Oh, that's gonna be beastie. Hmm, right there in between his legs, that stuff is coming down. Yeah, I've that's thought about that. That's gonna be a problem. So I'm going to fill most of this back uh, up. So not that you see it, but uh, I'll fill that. And I will f finish this off and fill most of that in the back. You won't be able to see it, I don't think. But uh, it'll help on the casting part of it. Yeah. Mm. Yep, 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 yep. I guess I should put a goal up for uh, getting more um, uh, silicone. <laughs> silicone. I got plenty of resin, but I, uh, the silicone part is running a little little shy. Eh, crap, I still got it too big. So what are you saying, David? Well, all those bits that laser, la Air Laser donated will have to go to... Uh, Buying silicone so we can make molds? Because this guy's yeah. taking all of it? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Speak, speak plainly, man. Speak plainly. Now I'm I'm realizing this is not quite the way Levi drew this, but uh, at this point I'm just trying to make it look good. 
Why is it not like Levi drew it? Um, lack of talent on my part. <laughs> Got a bit of talent there, man. I could be looking at that picture all day long and it's not going to look like that. And then when you have to do a mirror image of something, it's, oh, no way, Jose. All right, let's see if we can get that upper part done okay, first. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to take a drink of my tea here. into the view. Well, I'm, then I'm going to cover it up with my hand. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah son of a gun I forgot about that I need to put his shoulder this leather strap stuff down and then I'm going to have to do some kind of a pattern down the middle of the back some kind of armor and oh I forgot all about his belt too yep well I've got further to go than I thought I am not certain. Gonna have to get rid of this. For the moment. Come on, come on out there. All right.
Well, in any case, I gotta get this back done. <sighs> Bamboo. What you got is the front part of the weapon. What's that called? Front part of the weapon. Mm-hmm. The big chunk right here. Oh, that's the maul. So well, you got the maul and what, what do you have left? Well, okay, I've got the belt, the back armor, uh, the um, little diamonds around here. Uh, the design on the stomach and the sides of the armor. So I'm further than I, th I mean, I have more to do than I thought. When I actually enumerate it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we're not getting it done in 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no. I am sorry. Do 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 do. I believe Levi said it took him a year for the five characters, right? So, you know. We're not going for that goal. <laughs> five characters? Maybe so. I don't know. I don't know. I probably need to work on it more consistently. Mm-hmm. to me that I need to pound that first. Mm. All right, let's make the armor dented. Ice? Uh-uh. Mm. You're right, no. No ice crunching. Oh yeah, I forgot all about those lights. The mower is not co uh, sounding off now. Just uh, he's done. I think he might have been doing Ziggy Zard. I thought you said he wasn't doing Ziggy Zard. Well, Ziggy went out there and they were talking. So I don't know. We just decided to test it up hmm. while he was here. I didn't really need to do all of that. 
But I did it. Why? Because I wasn't thinking. Get some of the softer clay that's still warm down in the bottom of this bucket. You need me to heat some of that up? Ah, I'm fine. Alright. So if this piece goes in right there and comes up to about right there, I see that I cut the slant wrong. That's what I did wrong. Okay, so that really needs to just mark it over here. So that's almost to that edge. It's a shame. I've got to cover up some of my work here. But it is a necessity. Wow, I have the memory of a net. Did you do it again? I forgot to do the back part here. Even after I told myself I needed to do the back part. Do the back part. wondering out here how many people are cat people. Crickets. Cricket. 
tickets. <laughs> I'm talking to somebody on Facebook and they have some cats and I just want the cat, the kitty to come and curl up with me. It's not a dog. Cats will come when cats want to come. It's a very rarity if you can find a cuddle up cat. That. Hmm. I don't think I got it as big, did I? I did. I have managed to lose 35 pounds. I was going to hesitate about, you know, announcing that, but 35 pounds is a pretty significant number. And uh, pretty hard to do. It's hard, but it's easy at the same time, you know? Keto diet just works. You, but you do have to put in the exercise. And you have to stay faithful to it. You can't be jumping off, you know, halfway and saying, well, tonight I'll have a big ice cream sandwich or a Big Mac or something like that. I say that's a big feat to lose 35 pounds in, in a pandemic when there's so much stress and and anxiety and you're locked in the house and, and you've lost 35 pounds. That's crazy. But whoop whoop. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. Can you tell, guys, how happy he is? He's happy about it. <laughs>
to lots of vegetables. Lots. <laughs> Out of the clear blue sky. Lots of vegetables. It's like, welcome to my world, people. That's how he talks. Out of the clear blue sky. Lots of vegetables. <laughs> On the keto diet. There we go. Nope, I see something. Let me go back through here. That's probably going to look a little funny. But I think it's going to look okay. All right, let's see. Hmm, yeah. that yeah but I don't need that much up there Wrong tool. okay that seems like it's a really thick Because the arms are in two different positions, it's hard to say. I mean, if you had real armor, it, it wouldn't be forgiving. It wouldn't uh, be making any kind of concessions. But because I'm working with clay here, it's soft and gushy. So there's room for interpretation. Most of this will be covered up by the next piece that goes on, so oh, I think it's going to look great, though. All right, we're at the 15 minute mark. Why don't you give us a zoom around of the whole thing close up so we can see what we've done so far. Let's get a few more things filled in here. All right, tonight uh, we put on this part here. We put on the little fake trim for the glove. We have to do a little bit of uh, uh, one of those no, little spiky I mean things right there. Zoom it up close so we can see it. Cause it's too far away. Can't see. Still working on that shoulder one. Well, once we get on this next set of, yeah, I should have um, pushed that down a little bit more, I think. But once we get on this next um, shoulder pad, shoulder armor, 
it will start to shape up nicely, I think. Rain survives. Looking spectacular. Thank so you. So let me give it a little bit more texture in here after I put my fingers on it. Then his maw will go right through there. That should work out fine. see how much of this back back uh, portion right here we'll have to probably cover up with uh, some scale work all right let's do the promo thing mm -hmm. got 13 minutes. Uh, please uh, check TT2KB's schedule and see when the next Everstorm is going to be playing. That's where this character is from. Twitch slash TT2KB. Oh, that was one I should have put into the Moobot. I will next time. Uh, then... Rain um, Survives is this Saturday night, 10 this p.m. Okay, well, thank you, Rain Survives. So tune in for the um, Everstorm. Uh, Rain Survives was telling me some of the backstory for the different characters, and they're really quite fascinating. Levi has done a fantastic job. Uh, these uh, these guys are really um, have a deep backstory. So you'll want to tune in, take a look at uh, Everstorm as the guys play. Uh, Kodo and Balron and Geezer and oh boy, now I'm out of names. <laughs> I forgot. Hey, Pete Gart says hi, guys. Hi. Um. So that's uh, this coming Saturday night. TT2KB plays Everstorm. Tune in. Uh, also, if you uh, want to get in on the Dragon of the Month Club, go over to uh, my Patreon and uh, sign up. Uh, you can sign up for different rates, too. There is, there is not for the Dragon of the Month, but uh, there is uh, different levels, different tiers. Um, you can start at uh, the $2 range and go up. $2, $5, $10. Ten, uh, five dollars gets you a five percent discount on the store. Ten uh, gets you ten dollars off the store. Plus, uh, you'll get to see the sculpting of the little uh, dragons. That I, that's going to be an exclusive video for Patreon video Patreon only. You saw the names of the characters: Fulcrum. Cole. There we go. Yeah, Fulcrum, and what? Kodo, Kodo, Skeezer, uh, Morgane, and Morgane. Morgane is Cam's character, and Fulcrum is Tim's character. Balron is Dustin. Kodo is Clint, and Geezer is is Jeff. Oh yeah, and when we reach one hundred followers. So spread the word, please. Turn it. Uh, when we reach 100 followers, uh, this is the little guy that I'm giving away. He's got a little tail. Rinse Wins Jewelry Box. If you were a follower of Terry Pratchett, uh, like his books, Discworld, there was a piece of luggage that followed around Rinse Win uh, that had like 100 feet. <laughs> Um, and it traveled with him everywhere. Uh, so I took some liberties and I said, you know what, it'd be nice to have a little jewelry box for, for Rince Wind <laughs> that he could put all of his little fine uh, pieces in there. Some pieces of gold, maybe. And so I sculpted this guy. 
So rinse, wins jewelry box. But I gave him eyes and teeth and a tongue and a uvula. Uvula and a tongue. Just having a lot of fun with it. So there's that guy. That's the giveaway for at um, 100. 100. And I don't think we made any progress tonight, but we probably will later. And um, that's that's fine, cool too. But just spread the word for me. And that would be great. Uh, if you want to do some shopping on my website, uh, my website is davidleepancake.com. And there is a store there, and I have all kinds of things. Plus, I will shortly be having um, a new little Rumble Steam the Owl for sale. That is, providing he can, comes out of the mold. I mean, I could lose him in this mold-making process. That's happened before. So, we'll see. It'll be a sad day. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Anybody have any questions out there? You want to ask Dave? Cape Greek art. I can't stay long. Got to get to work. Just came in to say hi. Hi. Thanks for stopping in. One of the things is uh, this whole shut in thing lockdown thing has uh, afforded me to do is to have time to do some of these fun sculpts. And I look forward to doing the next one, which I think is going to be Geezer. I'm going to do him a little differently. I'm going to be working with a different substance. So we will see how that works out. And what else do we have to say, Kat? I think pretty much, uh, pretty much it. We had a couple more cancellations for shows this year. Mile High Column closed, uh, canceled, and so did um, Convergence. And yeah, they just keep on canceling, so. Looks like TT2KB has their timer going on. Oh, yeah, that we were supposed to raid. How do I raid again? Oh, frick. Um. Oh. Is it raid slash their name? I hope that's what I, I can't remember exactly what she said. Uh, Rain says I'll come up. Thanks. Thank you very much. Rain survives. Oh, it helps to have a tech here. Cam is up next with Bardic Knowledge. That's the thing I really... Boy, oh boy. You put on here. I have the memory of a gnat. You should be able to just do slash raid space TT2KB. Just like that. Maybe not. Well, pull up a browser down below. Okay. There's two browsers open. There's uh, Chrome and Safari. Pull up your. Actually, I don't want to pull it up because it'll be playing audio over the top. Um, I don't know how your computer program does it actually. No, it won't be playing because of it's it's hooked into the headphones. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, but it'll pull the audio from your computer and put it in your stream potentially. 
Well, it shouldn't. There's no source for it. Okay. So does it? Yeah. There's a. Hang with us. We'll get it. Yay, we did it. There you go. She did it. Loading up. <laughs> and then once that bar fills up, we're ready to hit the button to go over. So if you got anything else you need to say before we go, now's the time. Have a good time uh, watching Cam with uh, song production. Sounds good. See you there. Yeah. should be but then you also have to close your stream so however that's done oh i'll uh, right go now. over click on this i am clicked on this no click on the yeah finish and <laughs>